Round number four in Chess Olympiad 2024, Israel against Albania. We did it! Come on, let's do it! Hello everyone and welcome back. For the new viewers in my YouTube channel, welcome. My name is Nitzan Steinberg, I'm Israel Grandmaster and today we will watch together the match between Israel against Albania in round 4 of Chess Olympiad 2024. Israel until now did one win on Ethiopia, two draws against Ireland and Mongolia and now we faced a very strong team from Albania. Let's see our hero of this match. We have the Grandmaster, very good friend of mine, Maxim Rochstein with white pieces. C4, E6. I can tell you that, you know, Max can play C4, D4, E4, Knight F3, every move possible. So E6, Knight F3, D5, G3. I don't know, maybe it's around Catalan or maybe English, something you know, together between them both. So knight f6, bishop g2, bishop d6, castle, castle, d4, makes sense until now. And now black play the move h6, a little bit strange. I don't know, maybe just avoiding bishop g5. This was um, the plan. h6, queen c2, with maybe some options with knight bd2, e4, and also protect the pawn on c4. Knight c6, and now bishop to d2, very, unusual move i think overall in this position for example a3 makes sense uh, with some options with b4 bishop b2 knight bd2 develop this way uh, your pieces also i think knight bd2 here looks looks correct with e4 rook e1 i don't know b3 bishop b2 looks for me uh, amazing i don't know why he played the move bishop d2 but maybe it was some idea about c5 b4, I think, maybe. I don't know, for example, if he's playing um, bishop d7, for example, maybe c5 and b4 looks fine. I don't know, but maybe bishop d2 was just uh, a way to develop a pieces, right? Bishop d2 and rook e8 was played, and now rook to d1. And, you know, in such positions, when you are playing the move bishop d2 and rook d1 maybe the next move will be bishop e1 also to open this file for the rook and also to put this bishop here and you know it's it's very good here because also he's looking a little bit about defense here and also looking about this diagonal that can help a white in the next future so bishop f8 and now bishop e1 was played by maxim rochden i really like this you know it's way beautiful thing to to play with the white pieces d takes c4 and now knight a3 he didn't take the pawn back and uh, probably because e5 and now it seems like this bishop will go away or bishop f5 bishop e g4 maybe bishop e6 also and of course d takes e5 it's illegal because queen takes d1 of course illegal but very bad and uh, just losing for white so yeah e5 and it seems like black uh, just solve all of his, all his problems in the opening so he played the move knight a3 very uh, interesting and also i can tell you special move um, by max also developing a piece also wants to take this pawn with with the knight of course and also control between these two rooks right so interesting bishop takes a3 b takes a3 and now don't forget the pawn on is c4 is under attack queen e7 was played for example b5 looks very very bad because knight e5 and this diagonal is just uh, very bad for black white is winning absolutely after knight takes e5 d takes and yeah also this one also this one and also bishop on a8 knight d5 just e4 and that's it the game is over so after b takes a3 queen e7 was played attacking the pawn on a3 queen takes e4 queen takes a3 and now knight e5 as you can see maxim is you know just bringing one pawn for black right sacrificing a pawn and claiming you know i have a very strong bishop I have this pawn on c7 that is weak. Also, this bishop will maybe control the b4 and also uh, providing some, some good insights uh, in the next future with bishop b4, with bishop c3 maybe. Uh, this bishop will have a good place to work. So bishop d7 was played and now rook a b1. As you can see, every move in maxim pieces are doing just perfect. This rook is doing great job in this file. This rook is doing great job in this file. Also, this bishop has the biggest 
advantage here in this diagonal also this bishop doing great job in this diagonal this knight very active the queen is active every piece is working this is the way to play chess ladies and gentlemen i must tell you that the last thing about maxim's play in this you know this game until now that in 15 moves he had now 23 minutes and this is something that I I really don't like to see because of course it's not something easy to to handle afterwards but of course Maxim with his experience is just amazing player and he can play also with one minute in this position so let's see it rook a b8 was a mistake and Maxim did it took on d7 knight takes and now you can stop the video and think by yourself which brilliant move Maxim Rochten and find in this particular position rook takes b7 sacrificing the rook no way Maxim Rochten, you are in the you know you're in flight you're amazing come on let's do it knight a5 was played after rook takes b7 i think just bishop takes c6 with a double attack here and after knight b6 i think the point is queen c5 and um, you're attacking the queen here you're attacking this rook and also this rook so after queen takes c5 just d takes c5 and you know triple attack right triple attack and that's it uh, you're losing absolutely so rook b7 just amazing move knight a5 was played and now queen b4 not the best move overall there are you know there was a very strong move queen a6 you know just pin this knight and knight b7 is not good because of the queen and here rook, rook takes b7 just bishop takes b7 and yeah the knight is under attack also this bishop is attacking it so yeah just absolutely winning uh, but unfortunately uh, maxim played the move queen before with six minutes on the clock in 18 moves wow it's unbelievable queen takes rook takes rook takes bishop takes knight c4 and just rook c1 attacking in this c file knight db6 e3 very slowly is playing a5 just bishop e1 with bishop b7 and bishop a6 and yeah this pawn is collapsed this pawn on a5 and maxim just won it very easily let's see it quickly because it was really uh, beautiful to see king h7 just g4 this diagonal is very strong and this knight will um, fall very soon knight before bishop e4 take take and bishop c2 slowly slowly improving the position and in this position black just resigned the game four pawns against five pawns but one piece up for Maxim Rochten. Congratulations, Maxim! In the first board of Israel, is doing just perfect until now. Come on, let's continue it. Keep up the work. So let's go for the second board and let's from now on just moving it very quickly. So we can tell you about Ido Gorsten, Grandmaster Ido Gorsten, that come back after a not so easy loss uh, in the second round with white pieces but now with the black pieces Ido Gorsten is coming back and he's coming back fast and strong as ever so d4 knight f6 c4 e6 let's do it quickly d5 knight c3 bishop e7 is going for very solid variation with the black pieces bishop f4 castle e3 knight bd7 c5 and now knight h5 it seems like Ido uh, very familiar with this position is taking this one and b6 and a5 until now uh, both of them played very fast a3 c6 castle and bishop a6 this is something that i also remember somehow because you need to exchange these uh, you know uh, white color bishop um, because as you can see in this position this bishop on c8 is not doing great and this bishop on d3 is just perfect so black will try uh, to exchange them um, quickly as possible so g3 was played take take and now bishop f6 you know putting this bishop here and also after king g2 for example it's very bad because i don't know oh, sorry no i thought like maybe to play take 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 oh sorry take take and take on c5 but the queen is here so for example if we can see in rook after bishop f6 for example some way like queen e2 is very bad because i will take everything right i will take this one and take here and take here so this position is looks looks great for black um so bishop f6 was interesting move in this diagonal rook fc1 was played queen c7 a little bit you know like quiet moves um take take rook f a8 and now knight e5 bishop takes takes and rook a3 bishop takes e5 was a very strong and i, I think clever decision by ido because he, he understands that 
you know, the position is very closed and I don't want to have like bishop in such position, right? So you're just exchanging a bishop against the knight in closed position. It's it's good result and good, uh, you know, solution by Ido. Just rook a3 and queen b7, a little bit, you know, like h6, some quiet moves and Ido Gorsten is very strong in quiet moves as we already learned. So yeah, this position should be draw. Um, but Ido Gorsten, very strong player, also in the opening, also in the end game. As you can see, uh, he never give up uh, and he's just trying to have some complication uh, of the board. And he managed to do it. You can see that the king is coming and also the rook after rook a3, of course, rook e6, not so good because of rook takes f3 and just winning for black after king takes knight takes d4 and taking the rook uh, with just uh, a winning position, of course. So after rook a3, rook b2, and yeah, it, it was very uh, not so easy to play here for both sides. And the time starting to be very low, rook b2, knight h3, king is coming, uh, e5, and now d, d pawn will maybe promote. So he has passed pawn and trying to, you know, to have some complication. Rook a5, knight c3, and now e4 with e3 some options. And now rook c2 was played, knight d1 here was just fantastic. And move after rook takes d5 we have knight e3 check and taking the rook because this pin uh, but he don't missed it he played move rook c2 king f1 king d6 knight takes e4 this was a mistake because now just d takes e4 and thank you very much for the knight i don't know why he played this move for example i don't know rook c8 looks looks correct i don't know why he didn't play it because after e d4 now knight just knight takes e4 and maybe here white will play for a win uh, but yeah knight takes e4 was a blunder d takes and this position just lost uh, and Ido is doing the best f to win this position yeah he's doing it perfectly as you can see checkmate on the board after rook takes f2 e takes h7 and of course f1 checkmate Ido Gorsten, very important win and i really happy for you that you achieved this one let's go for the third um of course board of israeli team grandmaster Ilya smirin with white pieces knight f3 wow Ilya, everything is f correct with you your health everything is fine okay come on because Ilya smirin is playing not always but e4 this is your move right e4 just played but knight f3 was played and Ilya is doing it great g3 bishop g2 and he's going for these king's indian with white pieces Ilya smirin just amazing you know he's very very famous with his king's indian defense with the black pieces just amazing player you know dynamic one tactic i, I think one of the best players in israel uh, of all time but yeah he's playing the king's indian with white pieces it's really beautiful to see so e4 e5 rookie one and trying to attack h4 bishop f4 wow 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 what I, what can i say Ilya Smirin is in his best queen c1 bishop g3 knight h4 amazing amazing just amazing attack with all his power knight g6 bishop h4 wow this bishop is doing great job in this diagonal e4 was played c3 96 takes takes bishop takes rook takes amazing let's see it together because you know it's just to see one of the best players in israel is playing chess and um, just fantastic queen d1 yeah b takes c5 bishop takes queen d5 check now queen f5 queen d5 coming back yeah rook f1 i don't know why he didn't play the move queen f5 yeah now just rook d1 it seems like very strong i don't know why um yeah it seems like very very good but i don't know he played with rook f1 and now queen f5 check knight f3 is coming with the knight and yeah this position should be winning because the king on g2 is very safe uh, it's it's only a um, matter of uh, just winning about this king on g8 bad bad piece bad piece knight takes and as you can see g5 attack uh, also i don't know maybe rook somewhere rook c1 for me at least rook c1 rook c8 just attack right to bring the the last piece into the game and to the attack but g5 also makes sense probably rook e3 queen g4 rook e4 rook e4 rook d1 take take and yeah this position should be lost h6 amazing bishop e5 oh no oh no brilliant Ilya smirin after knight takes e5 knight takes and there is no checks for black knight g6 checkmate on the board in the next move just amazing amazing game by Ilya Smirin with the king's indian with white pieces 
I must tell you guys, I don't earn nothing. But Ilias Mirren has a very strong book in the black, for black, chess opening, King's Indian defense. You can buy it. It's really good if you like the King's Indian with the black pieces. So let's move to the last game of this stream, of this match. We have Evgeny Posny, my really good friend, Grandmaster from Israel against Firemaster from Albania, Zino Velishnasha. Yes, great. Let's see it. D4, Nf6, C4, E6, Knight, C3, Bishop, B4 is going for the Nimzo Indian defense. G3, Bishop takes and D6 very familiar with Evgeny Posny play because he's really really solid player he's playing very accurate you know like very good in maneuvering pieces and this style is very strong for him castle and knight c6 and rook b8 you know I think rook b8 was to play the move b6 knight a5 and bishop a6 because when you're doing here b6 we you need to Think about 95 right and this diagonal is very very bad so rook b8 was um, to to have this plan with b6 bishop a6 knight a5 queen d3 b6 as you can see and now queen d7 because he wants to bring this bishop to a6 c5 now just take take and knight e5 was played queen d4 just bishop b7 you know just amazing move if Genny posny understand that this bishop is very strong piece and you really want to exchange it with this bishop that now is not doing anything bishop b7 very good you know understanding of chess c takes d4 d6 of course bishop takes g2 king takes c takes d6 now knight c6 i thought in this position to play queen c6 maybe we knight fd7 rook fc8 also looks very promising but i don't know knight c6 also looks great for evgeny queen h4 knight e7 rook d1 knight f5 and now knight e4 as you can see evgeny really likes to jump with his knights great great to see it g4 knight e7 knight g5 knight takes bishop takes and knight to g6 as you can see the pawn on a2 is weak the pawn on c3 the king is a little bit unsafe let's see queen g3 f6 bishop e3 e5 against this bishop Evgeny Posny is do doing a perfect job I think in the positional aspects here f3 was played rook fc8 bringing the other rook into the game into the c file queen e1 rook b2 rook d2 takes takes and knight e7 um, yeah, not so easy here. D5. Let's see. Queen C6. The pawn on C3 is weak, right? Queen E3 and now A6. Very slowly, very improving. And now D4. Oh, Rook D3 was a blunder. Very bad move because now D4 is coming into the game. And now you are attacking this pawn and also the queen. So after Queen C1, just I don't know, Knight D5 or D takes C3. But overall, after C takes D4, just Knight D5 with Knight A4 check and taking the Rook. Yeah, Rook D3 was a big blunder. Queen C1 was played, Knight D5, double attack on the C3 pawn and also Knight F4 with fork. So E3 was played, D takes C3 and this position just way, way over. Yeah, Queen E2, amazing, amazing. If Genny Posny takes a very important win, four, Zero for Israel against Albania. We pray, we hope, and we did it. Come on, Israel. The next game will be tomorrow, and I hope for the best against Colombia. We will see it. Maybe live? Maybe live stream? I don't know. Let's see you. So if you like this video, smash that like button. Subscribe my channel for more chess content. And you know, this Olympiad will be just unbelievable. Bye-bye.